Oh, I just got off work. I threw all my stuff in the truck and run down here in my lease. As I was pulling in, I saw a hen out here to my right. And I seen a couple of turkeys up in the other field, but I couldn't tell what they were. But I figured I'd come down here and give it a shot for a couple hours, go back home, get me some sleep. But I was up here the other day with my buddy, seen two long beards strutting out here in this big field. We come stroke. We come down the hill here, popped up about 50 yards that away, and we had one one lone gobbler come out by itself. Didn't want nothing to do with the Jake decoy. I see them two gobblers were running together. I say might have whooped his butt a little bit, but I got two hands and a Jake decoy out today, so if I give a couple hours, see what happens. But sticking with me, let's see if we can't get it done this morning.
there he is. Tell you what happened this morning. I worked third shift. I didn't get off work at 7 o'clock this morning. And I watched the weather, and it says it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. And I got things I got to take care of. So I thought, well, I can lay down and take a nap, or I can go down there for a couple hours and see what happens. So I didn't get down here to about quarter to nine. As I was coming in the field to run a hen out of here, and as I was sitting up in the blind and everything, I noticed two hens was up in the big pasture. Now, I sit there and call them hens, see if I can get them to come in here. Maybe they gobble behind them or something. So, made a couple series of calls, and I heard a bird gobble off to my hard right. He's real far off. I waited about 10 or 15 minutes. I called again. He got closer, but the hen, I had a hen come out to my left over here, went all the way across the field and went right to him. After that hen went over, he shut up. So, I was sitting there. I was calling here, you know, sparingly here and there, and, I noticed something moving to my left. I saw a red head coming through the woods. So I think it was another bird to come out first. But he come out. He saw my decoys. He didn't want to come in. He had a hen with him. While well, I was sitting there watching him, I saw another bird moving in the woods. I think it was this one. But he come out. He had a hen. So They come out. They started going across the field. They didn't want to come into my decoys. I guess it was out 60, 70 yards out here. And the hens, I kept calling to them. The hens kept getting a little bit closer to me. And as it's edges, you know, edging towards the pond there, they got to be 45, 50 yards, and I thought, well, it's either try it now or let him walk off, so threw the gun up, squeezed it off, and here he lays. Beautiful bird. See, he's a nice two-year-old. Probably got a, I don't know, about an eight-inch beard on him. I love his stuff. I want to tell you something, though. I was sitting in that blind this morning thinking about everything going on in my life. And I lost my mom a year ago in March. It ain't been easy. But I still got my dad with me and he's been in bad shape for the past year and been in and out of the hospital. And what I'm trying to say is we spend a lot of time in the woods. What I'm saying is don't let it become, spend time with your family. I know we love this. I, I don't know if anybody loves this turkey hunt more than I do, but I love my family more, you know? And I just got my dad out of the hospital and got him in rehab yesterday, so. He's been telling me all week, you're going turkey hunting Saturday. Well, I went Saturday, didn't see a bird. And had other things I had to take care of, Easter and all that, so. Well, Dad, this is your bird, this is for you. I love you, bud.